Okay, so I have not been on actual YouTube for quite a little while as far as actually talking to anyone, but I just wanted to show everyone uh, all the additions that we've put on our new course here or on the new section of our course. We've added this uh, blue and, and white thing here. It's called the captain's wheel. We actually just took a barbecue pit, cut it uh, down to that size, whatever that is, eight inches, 10 inches, I don't remember what it was, eight inches maybe. And then we added some galvanized steel piping uh, all the way around and then added a galvanized steel pipe that's about four and a half, five feet. It's 75 pounds, uh, the obstacle is. And so quite a little chore to, to get it up there. Have no plans whatsoever on taking it off anytime soon anyway. We'll take it off at some point so we can get other obstacles up there. We also built these sky hooks. Um, we actually sell the sky hooks. The sky hooks are available. Um, they work fantastically and yes the big question is is does one clamp do it yeah for me anyway I'm 145 pounds um, and we don't I don't have any issues with just the one clamp so um, we do have the clamps available too if anybody ever wants to get a set of sky hooks and clamps we've got um, two here and then two in the back and, and at Ninja Worlds the reason I wanted these was because at Ninja Worlds I got hung up on the sky hooks kind of got into what we call the spin of death and I had a tough time getting out of it. Finally did get across on a couple of them, but uh, wasted a ton of time. So don't want to do that anymore. So I'm trying to learn how to use my body in the right way to be able to change directions and go. Uh, built, um, you can't really see it in the video too well, but up above here, you'll see it when in my course run. The X drop, that was also at Ninja Worlds. So something new. We have a flywheel back there, the blue one. Uh, it is... It's got little tiny holds on it. So it's just like fingertip grip holds. I uh, did that on purpose because you never, um, you can never work too much on your grip strength. So I didn't want the big fat grips, the easy ones, the ones that we typically run into in the gyms. So if I can catch this one, I figure I can catch the ones at the gyms, which makes it nice. I've got that, I don't know what they call that, that thing in the far back. Uh, it's a big giant, uh, eight foot long, a uh, sheet of plywood with a little cliffhanger on the back side of it. So you catch it, you flip it down and you use the cliffhanger on the side. That showed up at Ninja Worlds. I didn't get a chance to touch it. It was in like the elites had it on stage three, I believe. And so I built that just to get some practice on it, just in case it would happen to show up on uh, anything. So just a lot of fun. Uh, put all these new obstacles on this course run. I'm gonna give it a shot. There's about 13. This would be like a 13 obstacle course run. The idea, is to do it in about two and a half minutes or so. Uh, you gotta go fast. So I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Check it out. 